Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, you're probably wondering why I have changed my YouTube channel name. But if you are a new viewer or new subscriber, then this video will be good for you as I am about to explain why my name, the name of that it is. Stick around because I'm going to tell you why. So the name Java Wacky. For those who know programming languages, there's one called Java. I mean, it's kind of nothing to do with Java, but the whole reasoning behind it, programming itself, the language, programming language. I think I have finally found my niche. Well, not in the online world, but in my life, my purpose. I think I have found my purpose in life. It excites me. I am fascinated by programming machine learning, artificial intelligence, programming behind video games, and you know what I'm talking about. Or even if you don't, I will try to explain in this video so you understand more. Before we go into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you. 2022 has been an absent year for me with YouTube. I've not been as active but i have seen a lot of your comments and i do appreciate every single one and um, and also for supporting the channel just by clicking and watching this video a thumbs up goes a long way comments go a long way watching the video i appreciate it all and I'm, thank you thank you very much today we are also joined by stream avatars as you can see on the bottom of the screen it's just a nice little addition and something to look at not just my my face why am I called Java Waki? So like I mentioned, Java is a programming language. It doesn't mean that I am learning Java. So I know it, it kind of sounds uh, contradicting, but the reasoning being a programming language is because I am learning software and web development. I want to become a programmer, a developer whether it be websites or video game programming or even machine learning and artificial intelligence. I am fascinated by each individual field, gaming, machine, like what I've just mentioned. I know it's a lot. Over the last few months, I've been getting into the basics, starting with HTML. So let's start with HTML. I am currently on a software and web development course. Basically what that means is I am learning to develop and create websites using HTML. What I'm actually going to show you as well throughout the video are some example things I've been working on. I will also show you the website I'm creating. I am still at the beginner stage. Honestly, this is going to take years and that's understandable because nothing, everything takes a lot of time and practice dedication, determination, and passion. Rather than me just sitting here and explain it, I'm going to show you and explain it at the same time. So first, I'm going to show you the website, the HTML, and then we're going to go into some other things such as Python. I'm, I'm currently learning Python as well because it's one of the most beginner friendly and one of the most powerful programming languages there is to learn and uh, just talking about it it's amazing and also construct 3 if nobody knows what construct 3 is that's another basic video game engine for 2d maybe even 3d for like um pixel games or, or whatnot but i will get that towards the end of the video my website please do not judge okay like i said i am still in the very beginner stages as i am progressing through the course that i am on side by side i am also typing up my own code to try and create the website it's all for the portfolio so by the end of the course hopefully if i pass uh, this will go towards my portfolio and again hopefully start a new career in software and web development and just yeah living the dream so it's all a work in progress Okay, titles, everything you see, even the content itself. It's just basic. I just wanted to get some content on the screen. So this here is just a PNG image, the title that I've imported. I'm not going to explain too much about it because this is just an explanation, demonstration, should I say, of what I've learned so far. So I know it's all basic, but for you beginners out there who 
have a similar interest and who want to also learn how to create websites then what i will also be doing in future videos is sharing with you all what i learn so what i learn step by step i will then want to post on youtube and create tutorials for the beginners by a beginner myself i'm hoping i'm making sense i know i talk fast sometimes or might not make a lot of sense but for some of you it might make sense so what we have here is our navigational section you all know what a website is what it contains information we've got links to other pages on the website so i'm not gonna spoon feed you everything because we all know what the internet is right i'm hoping you do so what i'm actually going to show you i'm going to keep going back and forth but we're going to go into the coding of it so i'm using visual studio code and this is the main page so we've got the declaration of html we've got the header um and then I'm not again I'm not gonna explain every line of code. What I would like to do though in future videos is go through this step by step, create tutorials on how to create your own web page. And I can't wait for that. It's gonna be so exciting because again, it'll also be helpful to me to store all this information, embed it into my brain. Because this is all still new to me, it's still fresh. I'm still having to refer to my code just to remember, okay, so that is the tag. That's what I have to do in order to create a link or a reference to something. As I mentioned with the course, um, it's all online based. So I'm watching tutorials and following along. So we've got references. Um, yeah. And then these are the about sections of the page, the contact section. I've even created like a, a photography section on the web page, photogrammetry. And then I don't know JavaScript yet. That's the next thing, um, part of my course. I've completed HTML. I'm a, officially an official certification for completing the basic understanding of HTML. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So now we are on to CSS. So let me just quickly exp explain actually HTML uh, defines the, the content, the structure of your web page. CSS is the style. Okay. That yeah. Controls the style in the animation of the website. So that's what makes your website look pretty. Okay. So I've literally just started that. So there's not too much to show here. This is all I've learned so far, but let me just go back to my web page. So this code that we have here basically is just styling the headers, the entire body of the web page. So we've got a black background for the navigational links. We've just got the text color to white and the font size to 32. Um, also the other navigational links uh, are set to blue. So I'll, let me just go back to that. So a nav being these guys here, set those to white and the a nav two. Okay. We have to define which part of the text we want to change the style of. So we've got a nav and then a nav two here at the bottom. If you guys can see that, I know the avatars are in the way. Sorry about that. Um, so going back to the code and then paragraph, we've got font family, font size, and then we've got the font set to green. This here, I'm just showing off. I literally only copied and pasted this from a website online. So I cheated a little bit there, but I've got a little bit of JavaScript in there. But like I said, I cheated. Whoops, moving too fast there. So... The actual JavaScript code though, oh my gosh, it's gonna be a mess now. I've actually put that here in a script tag. But I know for you intermediate or expert 
developers out there any further scripting will go in a separate directory but for me just for learning purposes i put that here technically i could actually put this script into here and then just reference it within the html document that we want it to display on my page if that makes sense well here's a better explanation so for the styling we've got the css folder in a separate directory if i open up my directory actually let's go to um went to code so this is my html folder this is where everything is all stored and this helps you keep everything um, organized so we've got all my about contact all my web pages actually within the html file and then we've got css in a separate folder javascript in a separate folder we've got images in a separate folder and then even audio so then within our html file we can then reference each web page script css audio and images to these directories so now going back to the css file if we go to my main html page so here in the header head section we then reference the style sheet this is how we want to style our web page. Now we can have it on every page or we can have it just on one page. It's up to you, it's entirely up to you. But to explain further, we are referencing the style sheet, text CSS, and it's referencing to the CSS style.css. I know that doesn't make sense how I said that, but in the directory here, CSS here, which is this folder. So we are telling the code that we want to go to the CSS folder within our HTML directory. And then we want it to be the style.css file, which is this here. So cool, right? I hope you're still with me. Like I said, this is for beginners by a beginner. So I'm trying to explain this as simply as possible right now i don't think there's anything else for me to say I can only just show you but we are going to go back to the web page now so that's the whole code inside of it so i'm going to just quickly we're going to click on it so this goes to the about section we've got the back to home page basically it's a website you know how websites work contact that's just nothing special there photography i've um just imported some of my images these are actually referenced to a third-party website imgur.com so if you actually click that it's going to now take me to my imgur page so this is very helpful actually because you don't necessarily have to have your images stored within the images directory you can have them referenced to external websites which just makes it easier and much more efficient i think that's the correct term more efficient oops moving too quickly again lost where i am so i think for like loading purposes of the web website if you if you link it to an external page it will just load the images quicker that might be wrong I'm, i can't remember like i said i'm learning myself as i go along and explain this so we're going to go back to the home page go to the next one photogrammetry I quite like this because again i've referenced my images to imgur.com but i've also embedded my sketchfab 3d models into the web page as well so you can now view my models on the web page which is awesome i love that i believe i've also linked my web my sketchfab page here so we're just going to click on that and then it's going to take you directly to my profile on sketchfab so you can view my files even further. I've created all these models myself using my smartphone. All you do is just takes, take about 50 photos, depending on the object, getting as much detail as possible and creating a 3D model of it. This alone could just be more content for the channel. 
And I can't wait because I love it too. Photogrammetry is awesome and anybody can do it. And there is free software on the desktop for anybody to get into this kind of technology. It's so good. You can 3D scan objects, even uh, buildings. As you can see, some examples here, they're not perfect, but with any smartphone, with any camera, you can do this. Pretty cool, right? What exactly is photogrammetry? So what I've done here is this is a link to another external website. For those who don't know what photogrammetry is, this website here I have linked, it just explains what photogrammetry is, which again is another nice little touch to the website. So back to the homepage. Uh, I've also linked to my YouTube channel. So we're going to go there. It opens up on a new tab. Java Wocket. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would. Only if you want to see more content such as this. And honestly, there's going to be so much more content. I can't wait to share as I learn and grow and share it with you so I can help you learn and grow. So we're going to go back. Uh, we've got Twitch because I also live stream on Twitch from time to time. Instagram. TikTok. Because I'm on all social media. The links will all be in the description if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, Discord, TikTok, and Instagram. That'd be really cool too. So that is pretty much it for the HTML side of it. This is what I'm currently learning. This is the career I want now. I want to become a software developer. I want to create games. I want to create websites, even learn artificial intelligence, data science. It's just, I can't wait. So hopefully you will join me on this journey to becoming a software and web developer. And like I said, once I learn, I will then share here with you on my channel. So we are done with my website. I also use this. This is a free app that you can get on your phone, but it's also on the desktop and it is so good actually, sololearn.com. I will leave the link in the description, but you can also get it on your smartphone. And let's just quickly go over a few things. Basically, it just tells you what HTML it is, and it is so good. So welcome to HTML. HTML is the core of every web page. Behind every web page you've ever visited, there is a HTML code that your web browser uses to display elements like text, images, and tables. In this course, you'll work with HTML code to control the structure and the elements of a web page. HTML code is used to structure the content of a web page. So I'm not going to go any further into this. I would actually love to create another, well, more videos on this actually. Already I've just got maybe like five or 10 videos that I want to create already. And this is just based on HTML. Um, there's Python. If we go back to courses, actually, there's Python for finance, web design, Python for beginners, data structure, PHP, data science. Honestly, I cannot recommend Solo Learn so much. I'm not even sponsored by Solo Learn. If you want to, that'd be awesome because I have very good words to say about this website. Right, moving on. So that actually brings us to Python. The next thing that I'm currently learning as well. I'm trying to do uh, too many things at once. What I've been wanting to learn at the same time is create a simple text adventure, Python, using Python. And what I have so far, it is so good. I have watched quite a lot of tutorials actually already on YouTube. Sorry, I just need a drink. So I'm drinking through a straw. Do not judge. What I'm going to try and do now is not go too in depth with it. I'm just going to show you examples of what I'm currently working on. So this is a very simple Python text adventure. This is something that I found interesting and fascinated. And it is so basic. Anybody could literally do it. Anybody, meaning me, if I can do it, then you could do it. So what we have here is just very simple, few questions and answers, and I'm just going to run the code. 
So it's going to say, Roses are red, violets are blue. I want to play a game. What about you? So hello and welcome to my game. Before we get started, I must ask you some very simple questions. What is your name? Joe. Do you want to play the game? Yes. Great. The rules are simple. Live or die. Make your choice. In fact, you probably can't see this now. So we want to live. Excellent. Your current health status is totally live. Let's keep it that way. Shall we begin? This is actually going a different way. What is your favorite food, Joe? Hmm, what is my favorite food? I'm going to put pasta. I like pasta. Hmm, not bad. Though I would have said sausage. Okay. <laughs> okay, Joe. Now I would like to know what your favorite beverage is. Um, okay, let's say... Hmm. Wait. This might be wrong, actually. Pepsi. No. Okay. So we're going to refer back to the code now. So as you saw to begin with, it prints, it starts with roses, red, violets, and blue. I want to play a game. What about you? What is your name? Um. So it actually went wrong somewhere, actually. It should have gone. If my name was Joe, it should have printed this. So let me just quickly go through the code uh, with the questions. Yes. Do you want to play the game? If the answer is yes, print great. The rules are simple. Or if you print anything else, it's just going to say you're no fun. And then it ends the game. After you've said yes, it's going to say live or die. Make your choice. If we say live, print excellent. Let's keep it out of way. Shall we begin? Next question. What is your favorite food? So the actual answer, just for the sake of this tutorial demonstration, the answer is mash. It's going to then say, hmm, potato. Or if you were to say anything else, like I did, I put pasta. It's just going to say, hmm, not bad, though I would have said sausage. That's actually wrong. We're going to say, I would have said mash. Then it's going to say, now I would like to know what your favorite beverage is. For demonstration purposes, again, I just put Dr. Pepper. And then it's going to say, what's the worst that can happen? Ha ha. Then it's going to say, okay, whatever your name is, you're doing good so far. There are just a few questions for me to get to know you. Would you like to continue playing? Yes. Excellent. Let's see where the adventure takes us. If the answer is no, okay, I understand. Go take a break. But I rip off your head. You're now dead. Uh, print the health status, health condition, which we have defined. The health condition here is extremely dead. So we are going to just run the game one more time. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want to play a game. What about you? Hello and welcome to my game. Before we get started, I must ask you a bit. What is your name? So Joe is my name. You should then run. There we go. So because my name is Joe, it is now running a different, it's like running a different line of code. This one is just for you. How old are you? So what is my name? I'm just going to put 69. Sorry, because I'm immature. 69. And it's going to say that. Do you want to play a game? We're going to say no. You're no fun. Ends the game. We're going to run it one more time. Or maybe a few more times just to... Um, Show you the different outputs. Really need the toilet. What is your name? My name is Joe. I think. I didn't forget my name. I am. Oh, wait. <gasps> okay. I actually did something where if you are older than 18, it's going to output explicit um, word. As you can see, it said what it said. But say, let's say I'm 17. Oh, we better go less explicit route. Do you want to play the game? Yes. Great. The rules are simple. Live or die, make your choice. When we want to die, insta kill, game over. So rather than playing the game another time, you get the gist of it now. We can literally make the game however we want it. But let me just explain to you again with the age. If the age is over 18, it's going to print such language 
if you are less than 18, it's going to go more family friendly, which I just love that. It's so good. But this is all I have so far. This is just going to be another series within the YouTube channel as well. I'm going to develop further my text adventure game and share with you what I learned along the process. It is so good. I love it. Exit out of that. Yes, I would like to exit. Referring back to solo learn Python for beginners, but there are tons and tons of YouTube tutorials. That, that's how I learned text adventure through uh, YouTube. But if you want to develop further, then I recommend that you maybe pursue a course basics of Python. So you understand um, the variables, the functions, etc, etc. You will definitely need it. So that takes us on to the third and final section of this video. There's probably more I want to talk about, but we're going to try and keep this video as short as possible. I know it's 30 minutes, maybe after editing, it might drop it down to 20 minutes with a lot of uh, and a lot of pauses. So Construct 3, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I also want to go into game development. Whether that just be basic 2D games or a basic game for the mobile. I love it all. So Construct 3 is free. You can have a free account. You can also pay for like licensing and stuff. But even just for beginners to learn it, you can create a free account and start building your basic game so again for demonstration purposes i've got something nothing fancy it is not very functional it's not actually a game but what i'm showing you here i'll just take you to the event screen so we've got it to play music at the menu and then we've got a button that appears we're going to press the button it's going to stop that up music audio file it's going to take us to level one, the next layout, and then it's going to start another audio. And then we have, in fact, I'll take you to level one. So this is the next level. We've got a basic square, it's a player. We can move the player and that's about it. We've got an animated background. So we're going to go to the start page and then I'm going to play the level for you. Whoops, start page, start screen. So we need to play from there. So after about five, six seconds, we've got the button to like, it was on a delay, which is nice. I love that. And that's so easy to do. I'm going to click the button to start and it's going to delay again, stop the audio and then go to the next layout. And then we can move us player around, jump. And that's all I have to show with that. But literally, you can have that in five, ten minutes after watching some tutorials. But it requires no coding knowledge. It's all visual scripting. So you've literally like added, added an event. You've got the player. So say when a player is colliding with another object... I actually tried doing this and it didn't work. But uh, technically, this is how it, how it works. So you've got the player on collision with another object. So we now want to add an action to that um, behavior. So add the action. So what we want it to happen when the player collides with an object we specified, we then want to say... I don't know. Let's see if this works. Uh, destroy. This might not work, but you kind of see the intelligence, the knowledge of it, right? This is basically how it works. Sometimes it doesn't, it didn't work when I've tried this before. I don't know why. There might be something I'm doing wrong. But there is, it's, that's the whole understanding of Construct 3. It's based on visual scripting, so we want the player to collide with something, and this is what we want to happen when 
the player collides with objects. So let me just play that actually. So moving along. See, it didn't work. So player destroy tube teleport, which is that level trigger. Player destroy on collision with level trigger done. Player destroy level one. You know what? I thought it would have proved me right, but it's proven me wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That technically should be the knowledge of it. Level trigger. Enable collisions. I don't know. I still I'm still learning, so I need to figure this out. And once I do, I will once again share it with you all. Or if you'd rather watch other tutorials with more experienced users, then feel free. You don't have to watch me. But like I said, what I like to do is once I learn, I like to share. So that brings us to the end of the video. I know it was a long one. There was a lot of information there. But this is the future of my content on the channel. And there are more things that I've actually missed out. I've just realized. But I can't, I can't say right now. But there are so much more coming to the channel and I will explain in future videos to come but this is just the beginning and I can't wait to share and show to you all okay it is 31st of December it is the new year 2023 and I am excited of what is to come for the channel for my life in general so I'd be really excited if you wanted to subscribe and share this journey with me. If not, that is not a problem. I hope you all have an amazing 2023. Stay happy, stay healthy. Pursue whatever it is you want to do, what makes you happy. Um, but yeah, thanks again so much for checking out this video. Really do appreciate it. See you all in the next video. My name is Joe and I hope this video was fun. It was helpful in a way or inspiring. No, inspiring was the word I'm looking for. I'm hoping to inspire you. <laughs> okay, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Good night. God bless. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night.